Hello Wolfback, welcome back to another episode of Trade of a Day. We're on Curve today, CRV USD. We can see that Curve, while relatively new, right, coming out in 2020, at least on the Binance chart here, it has had quite a, I, I want to say almost lackluster bull market, but, you know, it did go from around 30 cents all the way up to $7, so I can't say lackluster, but I think a lot of people are expecting a lot more from Curve right now, but we're in a period of time in which we can see a good swing trade opportunity, and the reason being is that ever since Curve has come out in September 2020, it has had this downwards trending white line here that has been held roughly uh, over the course of basically this two-year period almost, uh, and, and, you know, back here in, obviously, September 2020, and then April 2021, and then May 2021, and then September 2021, and then also November, uh, December, and just last month, and now we're testing it once again, and we have the opportunity here on Curve to form a double bottom formation on this white sending line. Now, to support this, we have the RSI showing a clear bullish divergence. Now, technically, it isn't a confirmed bullish divergence yet because we haven't had many lower lows. We had one lower low here, and that was a bullish divergence, but it's pretty clear to say this is a bullish divergence on the RSI, which is good to see. We also have the MACD showing us that we're on the verge of a bearish cross, and usually you see the verge of a bearish cross, cross while you're on support. So as long as you maintain that support zone, you don't actually see the bearish cross play out, uh, just like we saw about a week ago here on Curve. We didn't see the bearish cross play out. We jumped up about 10%, and now we're coming back down for another retest. Uh, there is a theory, there, there is speculation to be had as to whether we will hold this white line, but in my opinion, it is, it is a favorable probability to the bullish side. Now, as for the trade itself, if you're going to be taking this trade, you want to get as close as possible to this white line, buy in at the white line, uh, and wait for a swing up to, say, this blue line here at $3.72, uh, or depending on how long it takes to get there, even the 200 SMA, which is currently, uh, you know, at around $3.50. So let's see what a traded from that from that region would be. So it'd be $2.70 to around $3.50 would be a 28% gain. So this blue line would be a 36 gain. Uh, you know, and that's a little bit optimistic if you want to take a more conservative approach, because obviously the market is on its line last legs here. Uh, you could just get a 5-10% to scalp pretty easily here on Curve. Uh, it all relies on whether we hold this white line, and so you don't want to be overexposing yourself. I wouldn't be entering right now. I'd be waiting for actual or an actual retest of the white line here. And then if we see, uh, say, you know, a, a pretty clear uh, close below this white line, say a daily close below, let's say daily close below $2.70, $2.75, that's going to be a signal that this white line isn't going to hold, especially if Bitcoin's tanking in that period of time. That's going to be a sell signal. Uh, as for you know, automatic stop losses. It's a little bit risky in this kind of market environment right now. Lots of volatility going on, but that's definitely the thing you need to keep your eye on this white line uh, and, and trying to catch the best bounce possible off that region. Now, we also have the volume which is showing us that, hey, this downwards trend we're in right now is unsustainable, right? We have every red candle, every bunch of red candles, we can see uh, descending volume. And in fact, this entire downwards move has been descending volume, which means that not many people are willing to sell serve and the selling momentum isn't really there anymore, uh, which is good to see. And it means that we're going to see a little bounce, uh, but it is you know, all uh, circumstantial. And so we need to be cautious regardless. But I think the curve is lining up for a little bounce opportunity here. Uh, and if we don't see it, well, we're only, only going to be risking around 3 to 4% if you manage your risk correctly. So it's all about risk management. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm personally not entering any trades right now. I don't like the look of Bitcoin at all, but it is an idea for those of you who would be entering trades. I might, who knows? Uh, you know, I change my mind very, very common on these kind of things. Scalp trading opportunities. If the time comes, the time comes. If it doesn't, you just have to leave it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video.